So this is going to be an awesome tutorial. You know, we're always talking about how to uh, increase the value of our work which is by adding a few extra effects. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to create liquid effects for our motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is having an awesome day today. Hopefully your day will get even more awesome with this tutorial. So we're primarily gonna talk about this main liquid effect, but we'll be talking about a handful of other creative effects to help stack along with just this one liquid effect. So you'll be able to take this effect as far as you want uh, and really produce some really awesome work. So without wasting more time, let's jump into the tutorial. Let's get started. So we're gonna be able to take a boring composition like this one and use these creative effects and stack them to create a more interesting composition, uh, which just makes this a lot more appealing. So we're gonna break down each of these effects as we go on. And I'll show you how to do the seamless title effect at the end of our tutorial just as a bonus because I've done this a handful of times on the channel uh, and I just wanna get moving with some new techniques. So you can download our project file if you wanna follow along for free off our website and you can start from right here. So what we're gonna do to get started is we're going to grab all of our work. So when you have your title, a background, whatever you want, what we're going to do is go to layer pre-compose and we can just call this uh, liquid ready. Then what we're going to do is go to edit duplicate. So we'll have two copies of our composition. Then we'll grab our top composition here and we'll go up to effect uh, simulation and we'll grab CC Mr. Mercury. And if we scrub through here, you'll get some liquid effects here and it's just not great. So we'll take the radius X and Y and set them both to 230. So we'll get these nice blobbiness, you know, circles in here and they animate and that's totally fine. We can come here to the animation type and set it to fractal explosive, which is going to give you something a little bit different. And we'll come here to the blob birth size and depth size and we can set this to like, you know, 2.5 for the birth size and also maybe like 0.5. Uh, for the depth size and this will give you a different variation of liquid in here and that's cool and we can control the animation by going to velocity we can set this down to like 0.4 this will slow it down and we can grab the gravity uh, and you can always change how fast or slow you want the gravity so it's completely up to you and if you want to mess with the sizing just increase the birth size and depth size and what we should do is take our composition and move it forward in time so the you know all the liquid will be up from the start of the composition. So now we have this nice liquid in here and by itself, it's not great, but we'll go ahead and refine this. So we can turn our uh, first duplicate on and you see us on top of everything and you know, that's fine. What we wanna do is take this layer and go to layer pre-compose and we'll call it mercury. Move all attributes into new comp and click okay. We'll come here to the bottom layer and we need to create the shadow so it doesn't look weird. Go to effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab something called CC glass. We'll come here to surface and we'll set the bump map to our top layer which is mercury and you'll get somewhat of a shadow but we need to set the property type from lightness to alpha and now we have this awesome shadow that goes along with our liquid animation which really helps separate you know our liquid from the original background so that's how we can create a really cool liquid effect for our motion graphics but i'd like to take this a little bit further and show you some more creative effects to help bring a boring composition to the next level so just stick around and you'll learn some pretty cool techniques so let's go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and we're gonna rename this to lens. We're gonna go up to effect, distort, and we're gonna grab CC lens. This effect is awesome. What we're gonna do is increase the size to like 200 so we can kind of see what we're doing here, maybe like a 230, okay? Then we're gonna all click the stopwatch for center, and we're gonna type in wiggle, open parenthesis 0.5 comma 500. And this is gonna create a very distorted warp liquid type effect around our composition. But it's also all click the stopwatch for size and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, 0.5 comma 100, close parenthesis, just like that. So with those expressions added in here, it definitely helps you know add a lot more movement and liquidity to our overall motion graphic. It looks really nice. Now, I wanna really take this to the next level, just make this a little bit more authentic. I'm gonna make sure our adjustment layer is selected, go to effect, noise and grain, and I'm gonna just add noise. I'm gonna set the noise up to 10% and uncheck use color noise. I did 12% there, that's okay. And this just really makes it seem a little bit more realistic and I like it. Just a cool creative effect, you don't have to use it. Okay, so I really wanna make this pop out a little bit more than what it is. So you can see in our main compass or original composition, there was a little bit of an RGB uh, look to it. You get a really interesting, you know, style with it. So let me show you how you can quickly make this an RGB look really quick to, so you can have a little bit of color variation in it. So what we're gonna do here is take our mercury layer, go up to effect, and we'll go to channel, and we're gonna grab something called shift channels. 
We'll set the green to full off, click on blue and set that to full off. All right, we'll take our mercury layer and we'll duplicate it and we'll turn the red off. We'll take the green and turn it to green or turn it back to green. Duplicate the layer again, turn off green and we'll turn the blue on. So you may have seen me do this a hundred times, but then we'll grab the two top layers. Uh, go to blend mode and set it to screen. If you don't see the blend mode, you'll have something like toggle switch the modes and you can set your two top layers to screen and it goes back to normal. So what we want to do here is say grab the top layer. We have peering keyboard for position. We'll all click the stopwatch and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma, five, close parenthesis. Maybe we'll do 15. We'll do 15, close parenthesis. And this will give you a little bit of nice distortion or a little bit nice RGB split going on there. And of course, if you want, uh, you can you know, do your bottom layer as well. You can offset it by a hair and you get a very nice look to that as well. Uh, another thing we could do, if you really want to take this next level, like you really want to go crazy with this, okay? Go to Effect, Blur, and Sharpen, and we'll grab something called CC Radial Fast Blur. And you get a really unique look here. What I would do is just, you know, all click the stopwatch for mount and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, you do like a two comma 15 close parenthesis. So I may have gone too far with this RGB effect, but you know, you have the choice to how you want to stack these effects, which ones you want to use, um, and how you want to build out your own composition with these creative ideas. So I want to show you how we can do the seamless titles that you see inside of this tutorial uh, really quick, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And before I move on, I want to give a huge shout out to our 500 template pack for After Effects. So this is our 500 template motion graphics starter pack extension right here inside of After Effects. And we have titles, accent motion graphics, animated backgrounds, and more inside this one pack. And we can preview every template before we apply it. So when we find a title template that we want, we just click on apply and it automatically applies a full title animation to our composition. With a click of a button, we can go into that composition and change out our titles and we can make any changes to our colors very quickly and all of our changes automatically update in our main composition now i want to be able to take this to the next level really quick so i can apply a motion graphic cluster to help take this next level so i'll click apply when i find a cluster or an accent graphic that i want so within a few clicks of a button we're able to create a really awesome composition and even with our liquid effects applied, we have a really solid composition. So if you want to save time and produce awesome work, you can check out our motion graphics starter pack along with several of our other packs on our website. The link will be below. If you pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So it's very easy to create seamless titles. You have a composition with just a title in it. And when you have your title typed out, all you have to do is go to layer pre-compose and we can call this title one placeholder. And then what we'll do is go back into that original composition, go to composition and click on composition settings. And we'll decrease the width to get close to the edges of the title. And we'll decrease the height to get close to the edges of the title. So you're kind of boxing in on your title. All right. Then you go back to the previous composition that you created. Then we'll go to effect stylize and we grab motion tile and we'll increase the output uh, width and the output height, however you want to do it, okay? Then you can add a keyframe for tile center. You can move forward in time and you can grab the X value or the Y value and move it in any direction that you want and you'll create a very, and you'll create a very unique seamless animation with your title and that is really cool. So how I had mine set up for the tutorial, I just increased the output uh, width to go across and then I keyframed it to go in one direction, duplicated it, and had it going in different directions. So that way we were able to create our very own unique look with this effect. So if you want to learn more about how to create seamless titles, I'll link a tutorial in the description uh, that goes a little bit more in depth on this effect. But I wanted to go through this pretty quick, but show you how to do it if you were interested. So that's how you can create a really cool liquid effect using these motion graphic techniques. You can see you have a lot of freedom to do what you want and take the effect as far as you want. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did find it helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below, and always be creating.